It's been more than five years since the deadly mass shooting at the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis. Five people were killed in this tragedy, including beloved journalist and American Red Cross volunteer Wendy Winters. Winters' heroic efforts saved the lives of several people that day, and now her memory continues to save many more. Janae Reese shares this story. Laura Schrank knew Wendy Winters as a woman who dedicated much of her life to giving back. Wendy was just iconic. She was a force. She, uh, she was so committed to the community. Winters tragically lost her life alongside four others in the workplace shooting at the Capitol Gazette on June 28, 2018. When she, when she passed away, it was, it was a, a loss that, that our community really felt. Shrink describes Winters as a proud Navy mom, church youth advisor, Girl Scout troop leader and a dedicated volunteer. She volunteered with the Red Cross to actually plan and host blood drives similar to this through her church locally. Every year since her death, Shrank and the Red Cross team up to host blood drives in Winter's memory and to continue her work. We wanted to do this blood drive to keep her memory alive and to just kind of honor her and help her be remembered for something positive rather than the terrible way that, that she was taken from us. Nearly 2,000 units of blood have been donated in her honor, potentially saving nearly 2,000 lives. We never know when we might need blood or when someone we know could need blood. And so that's why it's important that we keep on giving, keep on giving the gift of life and come out and give when you can. The next Wendy Winters Memorial Blood Drive will be held February 17th at the Crown Plaza Hotel. You can also sign up to donate at redcrossblood.org. Reporting in Annapolis, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.